Hallelujah. We bless your name today, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And there's not a friend like the Holy Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Truly, we're grateful to be 
back out in the house of prayer again. God has been good to us. We're still here in the land of the living. And what a blessing. Amen. Amen. Uh, we thank the praise team for that number. Amen. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. You talk about a friend, but he's a friend indeed. Amen. Amen. There for you whenever you need him. He's always right there. Amen. Amen. Right now we're going to go before the Lord in prayer. If there's anyone who has a special request, you can stand down and let it be known or simply just by raising your hand. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Yolanda.
that be been made coming to your throne. Sister Priscilla, Lord, all those that are sick and afflicted among us, Lord, all those that are sick and afflicted in the world, Lord, we're asking that you're blessed, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We're asking that you remember each and every bereaved family, Lord. Asking that you'll touch their hearts and comfort them and strengthen them, Lord. And Lord, we praise you, O oh God. We praise you in advance, Lord, for all that you've done, all that you're doing, and all that you're going to do for us. We ask the Lord that you'll come on in our service today, Lord. Walk around, touch minds, deal with hearts, Lord. Ask the Lord that you'll remember those in the streets, Lord. The drug addicts, Lord, the alcoholics, prostitutes, Lord. We ask the Lord that you'll touch their minds, deal with them, Lord. Bring them in, Lord, before it's too late in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we ask that you'll bless Christian ministries, Lord. That it be a saving place for you, Lord, in here. That it be a second, a, a hospital type of church, Lord. Heal diseases, heal sicknesses, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. We ask the Lord that you show your glory, Lord, in Christian ministries. Show your hand, Lord. Hallelujah. Like the Hebrew boys, Lord. Even if you don't do it, Jesus, we know that you're able. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We ask the Lord that you'll bless each and every member of Christian ministries. Bring down every stronghold in our lives. And help us, Lord, to lay aside every weight. And now, Lord, let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. We're going to have a scripture reading from Brother Leroy Williams. Let's receive him with a hearty amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I had something in mind, but the Lord gave me something else. All right. Yes, so, we're going to read out of 1 Corinthians. 14 and 2. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth him. How it in the spirit speaketh mystery. So let's keep in mind that the word of God talks about. Let's pray that God will give us the interpretation. In Jesus' name. Praise him.
Yeah. 
be over uh, Minister Marquise Thomas, 1 p.m. Christian Education Auxiliary, Elder Gerald Daniels will be over that. 3 p.m. The Church Development Auxiliary, Elder Marie Crandall. And the 7 p.m. Evening Worship Speaker will be Minister Veronica Gibson. Amen? Amen. That's April 23rd and 24th, our virtual council. $10 registration fee and see Sister Hall. At this time, we'd like to welcome all of our guests and friends. We have Latoya Muldrew with us today. Would you just raise your hand? Amen. And Alicia, Sister Alicia Lofton. Amen. Amen. Just like to welcome you to Christian Ministries. I'd like to let you know that you're always welcome to visit with us and to be with us. Amen. And we'll do, we will do you good. Amen. For all of you who haven't heard our bishop preach, you're in for a treat today. Amen. Because he's a preaching machine. Amen. Amen. All right. Without further ado, we're going to ask Deacon Fields if he would come up this morning to lift our morning's offering. Amen. Amen. This blessing time. Amen. Amen. God only asks us for 10%, which is our tithes and our offering. They have assignments, so you won't, don't want to miss giving your offering. Amen. 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 God has been good to us. Some of us still have our jobs. Amen. Or we we'll get some kind of income. Amen. So we're going to bless the Lord according to how he has blessed us this morning. Amen. Amen. Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask the Lord that you'll bless this offering, Lord. Bless it for the building up of Christian ministries and your kingdom. We ask the Lord that you'll bless all those that give. Bless them 30-fold, 60-fold, 100-fold, Lord. We ask the Lord that you'll bless, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let Christian ministries be a saving station in the area. In Jesus' name, we praise you right now in advance, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. And I ask everyone to stand, please, and come around, from, come to the center.
through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and we magnify the name of the Lord in this place. Can we clap our hands and give God a praise? Thank you, Jesus. I'm so listen to prayers. I'm a little tired in my body. Amen. We've done some things over this weekend that uh, kind of stressed us <laughs> in our body. But we praise God that we're here. Amen. We're here in Jesus' name. Pray that the Lord will grant the door of utterance in Jesus' name. Uh, we certainly do want to praise God for our lovely wife, Lady Tracy Quinn. Amen. Pastor Duck, Mr. Brady, Mother Louise, Amen. And our ushers and our media team and the Christian ministry family and all of our visitors. We certainly thank God for you. We thank God also for our virtual uh, church family that is tuning in with us even on this day. Uh, I want you to bear with us. We're still, uh, although we're going live, we still got little kicks to work out. And I'll uh, be in touch with the technicians and uh, see about uh, what we need to do uh, to bring our standard uh, up. Our model here is pursuing excellence until excellence is achieved. Uh, it won't be done until Jesus says it's good. Yeah. <laughs> so we certainly praise God and we give God glory and honor and we magnify the name of the Lord because he is wonderful. His name is glorious and he is worthy to be praised. And uh, by way of announcements that have already been made, uh, we have that uh, All Things Beauty uh, Expo that's coming here um, at uh, May 1st. And when it comes, I uh, want you to come and participate. The admission is free. If you know any vendors that uh, want to be a part of this uh, great move, uh, please, uh, you can contact me, uh, Bishop Frank Quinn, at uh, my phone number, 4814-434-1218. Give me a call, and we'll work things out. Amen. And we certainly do thank God uh, for that opportunity. And we're supposed to be uh, characterizing some people that are coming from near and far uh, to help uh, participate in this particular event. It's also been uh, radio announced on uh, WERG. So I uh, kind of keep your eyes and ears open <laughs> uh, to the station. That uh, I'm kind of laughing because, um, uh, oh, never mind why I'm laughing. But, guys, it is, guys, it is over. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, we also uh, have that, uh, as Pastor Doug had mentioned, about that uh, event that's also coming up on the second, uh, going down to uh, uh, Youngstown, Ohio, uh, for that particular event at 4 p.m. And those that want to ride along with me will take the church van and go down and uh, fellowship uh, with the brethren there. Um, I know that this is, I haven't actually written and drove uh, to a fellowship meeting um, since this great pandemic that has come upon us. But um, I pray God that we're over some hurdles We've done some things and we're trusting in God uh, that we'll be able to go down and come back safely. Uh, we will, um, uh, we praise God uh, for his continued protection and his continued deliverance. So we also uh, have our, our council coming up and I want to encourage each and every one of you, if you don't uh, register with uh, Sister Hall, uh, you can go on to the Night Pain, New York, New England, Pennsylvania States Council uh, website. And there, uh, if you click on it, you'll see a picture of my face there. I'm the council chairman. So that's to let you know that you're in the right place. And then you'll see a flyer there that promotes the council and that particular event. And then in that particular area, you'll see a form that says registration. Just hit that button and register for our council. And also, to uh, if you go on to, it's going to be broadcast as well on Facebook Live. Now, please tune into that uh, Facebook Live, the Night Pain uh, 
Council, New York, New England, Pennsylvania States Council, not Maine. Uh, tune into that so you'll be able to uh, enjoy the uh, various empowerment sessions and also uh, I'm going to have some flyers uh, just made up for uh, the church so you can take it with you and then you'll have all the information on when to tune in. Uh, the empowerment sessions last an hour itself and uh, during the day uh, with a Bible study uh, by uh, Bishop uh, Ronald Mathis uh, on, on that Friday. Uh, and on Saturday, that Friday evening, I myself will be uh, bringing forth the word here at Christian Ministries. We'll be live. We'll be on Zoom and then we'll broadcast that to Facebook live. Um, so it'll be a live service. Our praise and worship will be done by our Our very own minister, Marquise Thomas, and we'll thank God for that. And then on Saturday, we do the same thing. Uh, there's various uh, empowerment sessions that are in place, um, and that evening service will be a very anointed young lady of God. That's a youth service uh, by the name of Veronica Gibson, very anointed, uh, an old school uh, young person anointed. <laughs> Thank God for her uh, as she bring forth the word of God. Very sober, sat up under uh, Bishop Rome and uh, learned from him. But now she's up under the ministry of our very own diocesan bishop, Bishop Clarence Turner. So let us let us tune in to these particular things that are going on uh, that we'll be able to glean. Uh, we also during that first session. Not only I will be a presenter um, during that, our Friday night service, um, we also have presenters here at Christian Ministries um, at uh, Missionary Department, headed by Rosa Lloyd, um, was also her chair, is also First Lady Quinn. Amen. Amen. And so she'll, she'll be presenting and also connected with uh, Yolanda Hall. Amen. That's on uh, Friday night. I mean, not Friday night. Friday uh, morning service. Um, and also, too, we are very honored to have uh, with the foreign mission headed by none other than uh, Pastor V. Marilyn Mathis. And one of her assistants is uh, Mother Louise Davis. Amen. Come in. Go oh, Global Mission. Thank you. I call it foreign mission, but they changed the name to global mission. Uh, the old don't really change to the new. <laughs> so yes, thank you for that correction. The global missions. Um, uh, that's headed by uh, Marilyn Mathis, and then that service starts at 1 p.m. on Friday. First lady starts, first session starts at 10 p.m., 10, 10 a.m. on Friday. Followed by uh, Mother Louise's service that starts at 1 p.m. on Friday. So let us let us uh, tune in and come together so that we can all fellowship and be a part of these great services. Amen. And also to um, we want to uh, invite you all to give through our tithing. Um, and that tithing, you just go on to Christian Ministry, go on to tithing.com, and then go on to Christian Ministries, and then drop it through to the uh, prompts with your credit card, and then you'll be able to give. Amen. We have some platforms for giving. So we thank God, and we praise God uh, for all that He's doing and for all that He is working with us in this season. As they say in the song, Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, don't do it without me. Amen. And as they said, I believe it was uh, Ronald Reagan, they had uh, no student left behind. We don't want no saint left behind. Amen. Uh, so I want you to turn with me uh, to the book of Acts to the book of Acts, uh, chapter number two. Can't 
Nobody do you like Jesus? Can nobody do you like the Lord? Can nobody do you like Jesus? He might the church man. Can nobody do you like Jesus? Can Nobody to be like the Lord. Can nobody to be like Jesus. Be my friend. Can be any of your friend. The Bible says he's a friend that's sticking closer than any brother. And Jesus even called Judas friend. He said, friend, betray us now me with a kiss. Amen. We want you to turn with me to Luke, I mean, I'm sorry, Acts chapter number two. And just drop all the way down to verse 37. All the way down to Acts chapter number two, verse 37. And we certainly do praise God for all of our, our services uh, that we have, um, starting out midweek with our Bible study at 6 p.m., 6 to 7.30, and then following that is our prayer service uh, and prayer and faith service. That's Friday and from 6 to 7. And then we have our, our Sunday School Christian Education on Sundays between the evening at 9.30 to 10.45, followed by morning worship at 11. So we thank God for that. Uh, the book of Acts chapter number 2 and verse 37. I just want to read that first clause and that's given there. Now when they heard this. Can we say that together? We may heard this. And let us say it one more time. Now we heard this. Oh gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly do thank you for this anointing that is in this place. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to stand behind this sacred desk and declare the word of the Lord. We ask you, Lord, that you allow the spirit of preaching to come and rest upon thy servant. We ask you, Lord, that you grant the door of utterance, clarity of thought and speech, move back tiredness of mind and spirit. And Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you continue, Lord, to bless these thy great servants. Let us receive with meekness the engrafted word, Lord, that we may grow thereby. You know our desires, you know what we need in this pertaining to this hour. Father, we thank you, we praise you. We give you glory and honor in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We certainly do thank God once again for everyone that has pressed their way out on today. It looks like we're missing uh, a few people and we pray that all is well and that we will uh, be in attendance on next week. So we certainly do thank God for the Word. Amen. I'm excited about the Word. And I just want to take for a thought in your hearing uh, from that very clause, and which is our title for today, Now When They Heard This. When They Heard This. As we move on in our scripture reading and I was excited about uh, when Brother Williams read the scripture about uh, speaking in tongues and about prophesying because that goes hand in hand with what the Lord wants us to realize that is going on in this day. Y'all know the story about Jesus when he uh, came and he died and he rose again and then we waited for the day of Pentecost when the Lord told his disciples that he wanted them to go to Jerusalem. 
He wanted them to go to Jerusalem for a very reason, to wait for the promise of the Father. Uh, and they asked him about whether or not he was going to restore the kingdom at that time. And Jesus said something very profound. He said, it's not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has placed in his own power, but you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And the evidence of the Holy Ghost is the speaking in that unknown language or tongues as the Spirit of God gave the utterance. And we know the story that Jesus was caught up by the angels and the angels asked the disciples, men and brethren, why stand ye here gazing? Because this same Jesus is coming back. Tell somebody Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back for a church that had made themselves ready. Jesus is coming back for a church that had gotten themselves, as the scripture says, baptized in his name and filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. And as we know that the disciples uh, obeyed what the Lord had said after Jesus had shown himself alive for 40 days after his suffering by many infallible proofs. And he showed himself alive and, and on that 10th day, the Bible says there came from heaven is a sound of a mighty rushing wind. And the Holy Ghost came and fell on each and every one of them as clothing tongues of fire. Uh, and the Bible says that, uh, that they begin to speak the wonderful works of God. They begin to prophesy. They begin to tell how great God is. And they begin to say the mighty works that God was doing. And uh, Peter rose up and said, this is that which was spoken of by the prophet Joel. And he said that the spirit that's coming upon you, your sons and your daughters, they shall prophesy. Your young men shall have visions of I mean, dreams, and your young men shall see visions. And uh, he told them that this is that which was spoken of by the prophet Joel. And you know, when we look at these particular scriptures, that God has a way of bringing everybody together. Uh, tell you that God has a way of bringing everybody together. I'm so glad that, that in that number when the Holy Ghost fell, there were many different types of people from different nations that were there. There were many, uh, people from far and near that were in that assembly. There were young people and old people. There were Spanish people. There were Jewish people. There were Greek people. There were people from all over the world. Romans were there because God had seen fit that everybody that were there, they should receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's the way God is. He has one size that fits all. He's one size that fits all. If you got a question in your mind, is the Holy Ghost for me? I got an answer for you. Yes, the Holy Ghost is for you, you, and you. One size fits all. And, and all you got to do is ask. All you got to do is seek. All you got to do is knock. All you got to do is repent uh, and be baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins. And ye shall receive that gift. God wants to pour out that gift. That, that gift is something very special and you need it. That gift gives you power over the enemy. That gift gives you power over yourself. That gift gives you the influence. Like we often say there's something down on the inside that's telling me to go ahead. Uh, that's the Holy Ghost. It, it gets you up in the morning when you don't feel like getting up. It causes you to pray when you don't feel like praying. It, it makes intercession for you uh, when you don't feel like praying for yourself. It's something about the Holy Ghost that, that we cannot explain, but, I, but I'm so glad I got it. I, I'm so glad that it's available. I, I'm so glad that anybody can have it, that God has no respect of a person because God wants you to have it. It's the Holy Ghost for you. You've got 
kind of tell yourself, yes, the, the Holy Ghost is for me. The Holy Ghost brings you joy, it brings you peace, it brings you long suffering, it brings you patience, it brings you goodness, it brings you some endurance. So, can I ask yourself, do you need the Holy Ghost? I'm going to say, yes, you need the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost gets you in contact. I feel the Holy Ghost moving in this place. It, it gets you in contact with Him. And, uh, and when the Holy Ghost fell on that great day, they, they felt that they were drunken. And Peter said that we are not drunken as ye supposed. And because I believe that when that Holy Ghost fell, everybody felt good. Uh, when that Holy Ghost fell, they got happy. When the Holy Ghost fell, they got anointed. Uh, that's how, that's one of the reasons how you know you got the Holy Ghost. When, when you got joy unspeakable, yeah, and it's full of glory. You know, you can be coming to hell and not water, but when you get that Holy Ghost, uh, the joy will start ringing on the inside. Ah, uh, you get some joy. Ah, uh, that's unspeakable and it's full of glory. Another actual thing that the Holy Ghost is that you get a peace that, that passes all understanding. Not that your test and trials have moved away from you, but, but something happened on the inside. That, that you get a peace that, that passes all understanding. That, they say in one of the songs, they say, what is this? Uh, hey, what I'm sad is making me glad. What is this that, that is changing my attitude and making me love all of my enemies? What, what is this that is making me want to do right now? But I want to It's the Holy Ghost. It's something about that Holy Ghost that, that I cannot explain, but I got it. I, I got it. Do I got any witnesses in the house? Do I got anybody that's been baptized with the Holy Ghost? And that's what Jesus told him. He said, He said, He said, John the Baptist truly baptized you with water, but, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. Brothers and sisters, there's two baptisms. There's baptism in water, which you need for remission of sins, and there's the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, in what you need, and it's available to you. God says it's available to you. If you ask God, he said, the father of a fish or a serpent, uh, will, he, will he give you a good fish? And if you ask your father for the Holy Ghost, will he give it to those that need it? Will he give it to those that ask for it? Because there's something about it, there's something about it, because you need it, it's, it's like a seal of redemption. It's, it's like being anointed unto the day uh, when Jesus comes back. It, it reminds you that Jesus is coming back. It, that Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back to those that have that spirit in them. And he said, if that spirit be in you, uh, that raised Christ from the dead, it, it shall also be alive or quicken your mortal body. Quicken your mortal body. And, and Peter began to preach and he began to tell them that, uh, that this Jesus who you crucified and hung on a tree, uh, this same Jesus, God himself, has made both Lord and Christ. Uh, he began to tell them that this Jesus, uh, my God, that, 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 that died on the cross, that came for our sins, that, that same Jesus, uh, my God, was made a, a, a quickening spirit. That, that same Jesus came and died. He gave up his life and he rose again on the third day. Uh, he got up out of that grave and he rose again. And that same Jesus who they called and said that they wanted to be crucified. That the same Jesus that they met in that garden of Gethsemane and they took him to Pilate's car. Hallelujah. Took him to Pilate's judgment hall. And Pilate was willing to let him go. Uh, that same Jesus that, that didn't say a mumbling word. That, that, that same Jesus that Isaiah wrote about and said that he was wounded for our transgressions. And he was bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace was laid upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. It, it was that same Jesus who they called a malefactor. That, uh, they called a child of fornication. That, his baby, uh, that same Jesus that the angel came uh, by the name of Gabriel and told Mary that she was going to bring forth a son and, and thou shalt call his name Jesus.
Lord. It's that same Jesus that, that came by night. God uh, was taken from judgment to judgment. Uh, that was crucified. That was laid in a borrowed tomb for three days and three nights. That same Jesus that descended into the lower parts of the earth and preached peace to the spirits that were shut up down there so that they can be released so that when he led captivity captives, uh, he would give them to me, and it's that same Jesus that ascended up on high, that was set down at the right hand of the Father, who then discarded hell, but it's that same Jesus that came back, oh my God, and showed himself alive, it's, it's that same Jesus that, that's going to come back to you, that, that's going to come back to me, it's that same Jesus, my God, I, I feel the Holy Ghost up in here, it's that same Testified that he told Peter, you would be in shame and I, the son of man, and Peter said that thou art the Christ, the son of the living God, and Peter said, blessed art thou, son of God, children, because flesh and blood has not revealed this unto you, he said that all this rock, all that same Jesus, he said upon this rock, I Yeah. <laughs> 
But Jesus had a plan for him. You will not make it distraught. You will not make it all coming up. But Jesus got a plan for you. Jesus got a way for you. Jesus said it is me that died for you. I gave my life so that you could have the right to God's tree of life. He said, Simon Peter, let us not be more than peace. And then Peter broke down and he begins to cry. And he said, Yeah, Lord, you know that I love you. Yeah, Lord, you know that I care about you.
against thee. Yeah. Now, that's what David said. I sinned against thee. Yeah. And only have I sinned against thee. Yeah. Uh, and he said this. He said, wash me. Yeah. And I shall be clean. Yeah. Talking about baptism. Wash me. And I shall be whiter than snow. Then he? he said, Lord, created me a what kind of heart? You got to ask God. God created me a clean heart. I don't wonder what with God. God, I know my heart is bad. I know my heart is deceitful. I know my heart is desperately wicked. Lord, I need a new heart. Now here gets catch. He said, Lord, created me a clean heart and do what? Renew a what? A right spirit. Give me that right attitude. Give me that right anointing. Lord, we need your anointing. Anybody that, that, that really gets down to business with God and you begin to cry out to God, God will visit you in his anointing. He'll visit you in, your, in his power. His glory will come and rest upon you. All you need to supply God is with a broken spirit and a contrite heart and he will in no wise despise. No wise to stop. I'm done preaching here. Y'all probably sense that a while. Hallelujah. But let me tell you this. That I believe I was, I had to be like 20, 19, 20. Trouble. Trouble in my mind. Trouble in my spirit. Didn't know which way to go. Didn't know which way was up. I remember I was laying in my bed, curled up in my bed. Do I have to tell that, Lord? I was curled up in a fetal position. <laughs> I was probably trying to get back to the womb. <laughs> curled up! Oh, my wife laughing at me. She's going to talk about it later. That's all right. Hallelujah. Oh, curled up! Tears in my eyes. And all I need, all I knew to do, which I didn't really know to do, was say hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know about hallelujah. I didn't know about hallelujah. But something came over me, and all I kept saying was hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. In that field of position. And then something came over me. Confident me like a blanket. Gave me peace. Gave me joy. Yeah, 
man right there second here. Uh, so, so, so he came upon me, but he didn't come upon me like that, like that first time. Uh, he was showing me something. Uh, he was trying to show me something. Uh, he gave me something to hang on to. So when I was ready to come to the meeting, when I was ready to get fully saved, when I was ready to get fully delivered, they said you need the Holy Ghost. And I said if I need it, I want it. They told me to say hallelujah. And I understood hallelujah. And I began to call on the Lord. And the Holy Ghost came down on the inside. Look, the Spirit of God in tongue. And the Spirit of God gave me utterance. I got to find the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I can honestly say, Lord, I don't want to swear up in here. But I can honestly say, Hallelujah. That when he filled me with the Holy Ghost, when it came on the inside, it was a joy that I've never experienced before. Uh, you talk about hand clapping. You talk about foot stomping. You talk about loving everybody. Uh, you talk about a change. You talk about some anointing. I'm so glad that he offered me that experience. I'm so glad that I heard the call. My point in telling you all that was when I heard this, <laughs> when I heard about Jesus, when I heard about the anointing, when I heard about the power of God, I didn't just shake it off. I did something about it. When you hear about God and what he's doing in your life. Don't shake it off. Do something about it. Amen? What ought you do if you're a sinner? Do what? Do what? Do what? Repent ye every one of you. Get my people that were called by my name. If they would do what? And do what? And seek my face. And do what? You gotta turn from every wicked way. Huh? He said, then will I what? I'll do what? Hear from heaven and do what? Yes, forgive their sins and heal their land. That's what we want. Amen? Let the church stand. Hallelujah. Thank you. Those that have fallen short Lord, I need your help. And I've come short of the glory of God. I just can't make it without your help. Yes. I've tried over and over again. How's that going? I just can't make it. I need your help. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.
Pastor Doug, don't come to me all day. I just want to pray for the people. Hallelujah. We'll open the altar up to those that just need prayer. Prayer for strength. Pray for deliverance. I'm not going to come down and lay hands on you. Let the Holy Ghost lay hands on you, but I want to pray for you. I want God to strengthen you and bless you. Jesus' name, amen and amen.